हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर मीरा मिश्रा फ्रेंड्स इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मेजर ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्जन मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्जन राइट फ्रेंड नाउ फ्रेंड्स इन सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी आई टोल्ड यू देर देर आर वेरियस मेजर्स लाइक मीन मीडियम मोड जोमेट्रिक मीन अर्थमेटिक मीन राइट वॉट इज द सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी डूइंग इट इज गिविंग यू और इट इज डिस्क्राइबिंग यू डेटा इन अ सिंगल ट्रिपिकल वैल्यू विच कुड बी अ मीन मीडियम और मोड राइट Uh, it does not give you in the information about the uh, sorry it does not give you in uh, the information about the entire or whole data so what do i mean this uh, it means that it does not tell about the uh, uh, compactness of the data now let us discuss it Uh, suppose we say that there are uh, uh, there are twenty students in in class and average height of the students is suppose then one forty two centimeters. Uh, now uh, uh, now what is the uh, what what is said means it uh, does uh, it does the means said every student have a height of one forty two centimeter or which is not uh, so friends which is not possible. because somebody might be height 130 cm somebody have 120 cm somebody have 140 cm so so what is this person doing the dispersion uh, tells you or gives you an idea about how these uh, how these how these individual values are scattered or spread scattered or spread around the central values right so measure of dispersion means basically means the spread or uh, it means spread spread or uh, uh, variability of data set variability t of data data set right so if in proper if define uh, so dispersion uh, dispersion is the measure uh, measure the variation of the items uh, if you write the proper definition dispersion dispersion is a measure of the variation of the variation of the items right friend variation of the items or you can say dispersion refers to variation of the items among themselves uh, or you can say around an average right so greater greater the variation among the different items of a series uh, the more will be the dispersion the more will be the dispersion so measure of dispersion friends are two types measure of dispersion are two types first one is friends this one is absolute absolute dispersion and second one is called the relative dispersion so what do you mean the absolute dispersion friends say in this form uh, uh, data is expressed uh, in the same unit form uh, in this case data are expressed in the same unit form data expressed in same unit like uh, rupees kilogram kilometers like right and relative dispersion friend in this form uh, in this form of in this form of the ratio and percentage form ratio or percentage it is free from the units right independent of the units 
and it is uh, it is also called the coefficient of dispersion right so uh, th and this is the two types of absolute and relative dispersion and uh, now come uh, to the method of the measuring of dispersion method of measuring dispersion friends method of measuring dispersion uh, are uh, there are four types of method uh, 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 first one is uh, range first one is four or five times measure is range second one is interquartile range or quartile uh, or quartile division inter quartile i told you about the quartile division before lectures uh, interquartile range and quartile division quartile division in shortly we can write this one interquartile is i q r and this is q d quartile division now and the next one is measure Measuring of dispersion is mean division. Short form is MD. And next one is standard division, which is most important. Standard division. Standard division. Right. This is called SD, and uh, one of the, uh, is also is Lorentz curve also define the measuring of dispersion. That's right. So here, uh, these are the method of the measuring dispersion. Now, now come to the uh, first uh, first uh, dispersion method of dispersion. This one is which one is range. So what is the range, friend? what is the range friends uh, it is a uh, simplest measure of uh, dispersion it is a uh, simplest uh, uh, simplest method of measuring the dispersion and it is defined as the difference between the largest and smallest value in the uh, in the series uh, if you write the range range uh, it is defined as the difference between difference between between the largest largest and smallest values in the series in the series it is defined as r equal to l minus s where l is defined as largest value of the series and this is called the smallest value value right and if you want to find the coefficient of range coefficient of range so formula is l minus s upon l plus s right so formula is l minus s upon l plus s suppose friend uh, we have taken an example Uh, suppose then i have taken an example uh, take uh, some individual series like uh, 20 25 20 uh, 35 30 and 15 so if you want to find the range so what you do so you find uh, you uh, you find the number of largest here and you find the smallest value of here and take the difference between the so here what is the largest value is 35 and what is the smallest value is 15 So friends, what's your range? Range is comes L minus S equals to uh, 35 minus 15. 35 minus 15, it comes 20, right? And if you want to uh, find the coefficient of range, coefficient of range of these numbers, so what you do? So you do uh, L minus S upon L plus S. So L minus S it means 20 upon uh, this comes uh, 50. 35 plus 15 it means 50. So it comes 2 by 5. 
so uh, 2 by 5 it means 0 0.4 this is your answer right so this is uh, i have taken the uh, one individual series so you can find the range of the uh, this is the example of the individual series right now uh, take uh, another example of the uh, discrete Next, take uh, take example for the continuous series. Next, take example for the continuous series. For continuous series, uh, we want a uh, class interval, so exclusive class interval. So I have take uh, one cl exclusive class interval: five to ten, ten to fifteen, uh, five to ten, ten to fifteen, fifteen to twenty, twenty to twenty five, twenty five to thirty. Suppose in this one, and I have take frequency 4 9 15 30 and 40 suppose in this one so for in this case in the in the case of uh, continuous series so how to find the range so for uh, friends for uh, finding uh, for this again don't see in frequency you just see only in uh, class interval so you see what is the largest uh, largest well uh, largest class interval is uh, this one is 25 to 30 and largest value uh, is of the range is uh, here you see the largest uh, maximum is 30 and minimum is start from the 5 5 to 10 so it from uh, start from 5 so smallest value is 5 of the class interval is 5 and la largest value of the class interval is 30 so here we take 30 minus 5 so it comes 25 so this is the range now coefficient of range using same formula so this one is 25 upon 30 plus 5 and it means 35 so 5 5 is 25 5 7 is 35 and this one is 5 by 7 so if you solve this one so around uh, 0.71 something right so this is the, the this is a range uh, of uh, from discrete uh, individual discrete and continuous series now now come to the next next uh, uh, measure of dispersion met method of dispersion uh, uh, which one is uh, interquartile range inter quartile range and friends uh, I told here also uh, quartile division and quartile division I tell you here quartile division so what is the interquartile range and uh, quartile division I told you this is called in shortly IQR and this is called QD. Now, interquartile range. Friends, uh, for this, for interquartile range and quartile division, uh, for this it is important that you should know how to uh, compute quartiles. Because uh, interquartile range is nothing, it is the difference between the upper quartile uh, and the lower quartile. If you write the here IQR, IQR means uh, Q3 minus Q1. So Q3 is your upper quartile as you know. This is upper quartile. I told, uh, uh, I told you in, in previous lecture, uh, in previous video I told you how to compute quartiles. Upper quartiles, lower quartiles and or median. Right? And this is called the lower quartile. lower quartile so uh, so it is the uh, it is it is just only the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile and uh, what is the quartile division friends quartile division is just only you have to take q3 minus q q1 upon 2 so this is the quartile division because quartile division is the half of the interquartile range. This is the half of the interquartile range. So it is also called the semi interquartile range. It is also called the semi interquartile 
quartile range right and what is the coefficient of quartile division coefficient of quartile division so friends coefficient of quartile division uh, formula is q3 minus q1 upon q3 plus q1 so this is the interquartile coefficient of the quartile division right now friends uh, so how to compute the uh, interquartile range quartile division coefficient of quartile division so friends uh, for this uh, necessary to uh, uh, necessary you should know how to compute the quartiles and uh, i told in uh, in previous videos i told you how to compute the quartiles right friends so so for this you uh, you just go for uh, that those uh, those uh, videos and uh, find how to compute the quartile friends in previous i have already discussed about how to compute the third quartile division uh, uh, or uh, this is upper quartile division or lower quartile uh, this is also called the third quartile or this is called the first quartile right this is the first quartile and this is also called the upper or you say third quartile so i have already discussed how to compute uh, this so so first uh, so you please uh, so you can see in the example of the quartile Mm, how to compute the quartile third quartile and quartile first uh, in my previous video in my previous video right right friend so now move on uh, the measure of measure uh, measure of dispersion uh, measure of so now move on uh, the third uh, third measure of dispersion and which uh, which is uh, which is mean division mean division and shortly it can be right mean mean division md what is mean division friends it is also called the average division average division right uh, uh, friends um, so now write down the properly differentiate it is defined it is defined as the arithmetic average arithmetic average average of the of the division of the various items of a series of a series computed computed from measure of central tendency like mean or median right so friends basically mean division uh find uh, you have to compute mean division from uh, mean or from median so an exam question comes uh, not find uh, not question come from uh, just only you find the mean division it comes find the mean division from mean or from median so how to compute from mean and from mean division so mean division method of mean division or to from mean and from median so for this 
for uh, for computing mean division uh, it is necessary uh, you should know how to uh, uh, how to uh, uh, how to compute uh, how to uh, how to find the mean uh, for all series like individual discrete or uh, continuous series and how to find median for individual discrete and continuous series uh, friends in previous lectures in previous video i told i discussed how to find the mean from individual discrete and disc, uh, continuous series and how to find median fro, from uh, individual and discrete and continuous series so for mean mean division it's necessary to learn how to find mean and median of all series right friend so uh, first uh, what is the mean division from mean so friends uh, here i to write for individual series i write down the sh in shortly table individual series friends for individual series uh, from mean i told from mean what is the formula for the mean division so mean division from mean is defined by this right and here this is defined this so friend so, uh, in this case formula is for individual series formula is summation mod x minus x bar upon n where number of observation if individual series if discrete series formula is for mean division is summation f x minus x bar upon capital n where n is your summation of f right and for continuous series for continuous series so mean division is again using same formula for the continuous series right and from median if you find the mean division from median so for individual series here i am using the formula mod x minus median upon n and for discrete series using the formula f into mod x minus md upon capital n where capital n equals to summation of f and from for continuous series mean division from median is defined as using the formula using the formula friends which formula using same formula using same formula but you know very well for uh, for into for for continuous series you have to finding the mean uh, you have find the median uh, through the formula formula is your um, l1 plus n by 2 minus previous cumulative frequency upon frequency into i so you for this you have to find the medium from this formula right and for in 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 this cases you know how to find the medium for individual series first you have to arrange the data in ascending order and then you find the 
median for even or odd if the data are in even then you can use the formula uh, uh, e for even and if data is odd the, the central value of or middle term is also uh, middle term is your median right and for uh, in this case for discrete series for finding the median you have to use the you have arranged the uh, discrete series in uh, uh, in uh, uh, ascending order and uh, uh, corresponding the frequency and uh, after that you you find the size uh, n plus 1 by 2 uh, size and then find the size in your cf and then for for this you have to find the median so uh, i you uh, i define uh, you can see on uh, my video uh, there uh, there showing the all the example of individual discrete and continuous series for finding the median right uh, same uh, find the mean for individual discrete and continuous you have seen the uh, previous video right now so this uh, this is the formula for the mean division for, for from mean and from median now one one thing is coefficient of mean division from mean and coefficient of mean division from median coefficient of mean division from mean is so mean division from mean upon mean and in this case coefficient of mean division from median formula is mean division from median upon using median right so this is the uh, you have to find the mean mean division from mean in any uh, if uh, if any series and finally you find the mean division from mean then divide by the mean you find the coefficient of mean division from mean and uh, similarly you find the median for, for the individual series discrete series and continuous series using the proper way uh, proper method and after that uh, uh, if you uh, coefficient of mean division from median you you have to take the mean division from median upon uh, dividing the value of median then you can uh, you have the coefficient of mean division from median right now i'm showing the example showing some example uh, individual and discrete taking the example individual discrete and continuous series and uh, uh, again you learn how to compute the values 